squeeze tests in orthopedics. There are multiple squeeze tests that we use in the diagnosis of orthopedic conditions. Squeeze test is helpful in the diagnosis of high ankle sprain or a syndesmotic injury. Compression of the tibia and fibula at the mid-calf area causes pain at the syndesmosis. If this maneuver causes pain at the syndesmosis, then this is suggestive of a syndesmotic injury or a high ankle sprain. The gold standard for the diagnosis of syndesmotic injury is an external rotation stress radiograph. The squeeze test is used to diagnose distal biceps avulsion. The elbow is held at 60 to 80 degree of flexion. The forearm is slightly pronated and rested comfortably. The examiner stabilizes the patient's arm with one hand, while the other hand of the examiner squeezes across the distal biceps muscle. Normally, if the biceps is intact, there will be some supination of the patient forearm or wrist. When we call the test a positive test, that means there is failure to observe supination of the patient's forearm. However, the Hawk test is the gold standard. The examiner will use his index finger to hook the lateral edge of the biceps tendon while the elbow of the patient is flexed to 90 degree and in full supination. If the tendon is intact, the examiner will be able to hook the tendon. However, there might be some false positives, like you're thinking the tendon is intact, but the tendon is not. That's the false positives. If there is a partial tear of the biceps tendon, if you feel the brachialis tendon, and if there is an intact lacerous fibrosis, the examiner may think that the index finger is able to hook the tendon, and that is false positive. When there is a complete tear of the distal biceps tendon, the tendon will be absent, and you cannot hook it with the index finger. When there is a partial tear of the distal biceps, the examiner will be able to hook the index finger around the tendon. Squeeze tests may be also used in the diagnosis of Morton's neuroma. In Morton's neuroma, the patient will have pain and the pain will be worse with wearing two narrow toe box shoes. Two types of shoes will squeeze the metatarsal together and create irritation of the neuroma. And the patient feels better by removing the shoes and massaging the foot. So if the examiner squeezes the metatarsals together, the patient will have pain and will have occurrence of the symptoms. This is called a positive web space compression test. When you squeeze the metatarsals together, you may get the Mulder's click. Squeeze test may be also used in the diagnosis of Achilles tendon tear. Thompson test is a provocative test used in the diagnosis of Achilles tendon tear. When the calf is squeezed, normally there will be plantar flexion of the foot. Lack of plantar flexion of the foot when the calf is squeezed indicates tear of the Achilles tendon. Squeeze test in the diagnosis of triceps tendon rupture. The patient will lie prone 
with the elbow at the end of the table. The forearm should be hanging down freely. The examiner will squeeze the triceps muscle. The test is considered positive if the patient is unable to extend the elbow against gravity. Squeeze test could be important in the diagnosis of stress fractures of the calcaneus. The stress fracture of the calcaneus may be misdiagnosed as plantar fasciitis. It usually occurs in female runners. Patient will have some swelling and tenderness, especially with medial and lateral compression of the hind foot. A compression squeeze test is helpful. A positive squeeze test could mean there is a stress fracture of the calcaneus. You may need to get an MRI if the x-ray is negative. You will see a fracture in T1 as a linear streak or a band of low signal density in the posterior calcaneal tuberosity. In T2, you will find an increased signal. The doctor squeeze test is used in the diagnosis of groin injuries and for measurements of adductor muscle strength. If the adductor muscles are weak, it becomes a risk factor for groin injuries. So the adductor squeeze test is used as a screening tool to detect adductor muscle weakness, and it may help in decreasing the risk of groin injuries. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.